Dude. Yeah. Those movies were great. Uh, we'll, oh, I, all right. I ended up skipping around the theory craft. We'll talk about it afterwards. We're getting into game number one here. It's going to be Debo versus WebJP. WebJP has a solid amount of practice in these matchups because of the person on the other side of Lose the Semis there, PK Chris, and a couple other solid nest mains that are in the area there. So uh, many nest mains and tri state. Yeah, bro. I mean, a you got a couple so of the many. casters as well who have been on, like, Get Clipped, who hopefully have better connection than what we just saw to start there. <laughs> yeah, so, but Debo has oh. been tremendous. Oh my goodness, everything is catching up so fast. We're, skip <laughs> We're skipping through time, bro. Luckily, the Twitch didn't see that, but we just saw the fastest frames I've ever done seen. And this is where, so a big thing in this matchup is how Webb understands how Debo wants to speed up time. True, true, true. true. Uh, Webb needs to be able to consistently beat Debo at a disadvantage. That's a big way on how you beat Ness in this matchup. And also, obviously, forcing them low so you can get them at ledge, maybe catch them with a flip kick or a paralyzer. Uh, and you see Debo is putting out so many solidly positioned aerials that it makes it so every time Webb would maybe want a short hop Zare or short hop for our order. He's getting beat, and that is how you need to win this matchup as well if you're the Nest player. And he's, he's doing his best here so far, but it's it's not off to a great start for Webb. Like he, we were saying, he's got a whole lot of practice in the matchup thanks to the, the bajillion Nests. There's almost as many Nests in Tri-State as there are Yoshis, man. But it's it's just not like been as smooth sailing as it was that we saw earlier uh, in, in Webb's Losers Ace match. Like, he's just not been able to really get it going. And that might be a problem for him down the line. Like, he's he's not been able to control the momentum in this matchup, especially not with that back throw coming out. And one of the things that is a big deal and how you, like, so many of the Nesses play very differently, right? The Nesses, it, it, like I said before, it may look like, yeah, you know, just swinging a bunch, swinging a bunch, but they're putting out safe areas. When you're fighting against someone like ZSS, do you want to be the one that goes and uh, just swing straight at ZSS who's got... As, uh, Zare, they have F tilt, they have that frame one jab. They have so many get off me tools that it's easy if you are just sitting there running right at him. By putting out these aerials preemptively, he's essentially shutting down any play that Webb has, but Webb finally, finally catches him slipping on the platform with the up smash. Gets him again that time with the second up smash. Now he's building up this percent, trying to bring it back to a game that's in his favor, but it, it's starting to slip away from him. Like, if, if Debo manages to get too much more of a lead as that, that back door, sorry, Debo, I, <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm a Southerner. I got, I got to say things wrong. It's by principle. Uh, but, like, if he gets too much more of a lead built up as that back door was looking like it might be, or this dash attack, it could very well be, like, a, uh, a, a case of this match is just GG's go next for Webb. True enough. Now, Webb has done a good job of trying to slowly bring this back. Uh, that boost kick, a little bit reckless because you're, you know, you near a platform, possibly could die to a backer off the ledge. He's trying really hard to slow down Debo as much as possible right now, but Debo is just coming in, running that bait and swinging. However, that's the jump, and he's Whoa. screwed. He caught him midair with the jump. He finally finds the gap. And if you can use that Zare after the uh, the Ness has committed the double jump already, trying to maybe fade him with that back air, that is a good way to snipe an early stock like that. And that that's not the first time that we've seen Webb using that Zare to take away double jumps and take away stocks in offstage situations. And he's very, very good at that. But speaking of very, very good, Ness, Debo, taking away that stock with a falling up air. Going for another one here, getting two of them. <laughs> Building up some percent. That was almost hype as hell, dude. I like that. Like, look, Debo has missed it a, a few times, but Debo has consistently been looking for a, like, he'll set up a string and then waits for a reaction afterwards from Webb. He almost got a down air on the platform before. He almost caught him again trying to set up there. Debo has some really, like, in-depth plays. He's just missing the timing by a little bit. I realized, by the way, that if Debo manages to take this set, we have a, a nest ditto in loser's semi. So look forward to that one, <laughs> chat. You gotta, you gotta maybe bet on your hero WebJP here if you wanna, that wanna stay away from the psychic children screaming in your ear the whole time. That one is actually like so ridiculous just because of the fact that Side Magnet is an entire win <laughs> condition by itself off stage. It's, it's, Side Magnet plays the game for you. Yeah, sometimes. you straight up, it's like, he who goes off stage first loses. Oh, 
Oh, that was great. He decided to make it so look good. like he was going to go for our grab. So instead, he puts out the... Mo uh, he just lingers the up smash so he can cover the, uh, the spot dodge from Webb if he decided to spot dodge, which he did catch. Or if he decided to jump. That was very, very solid considering that it was a setup potentially for a kill throw, but it decided, decided to mix it up. Right, right now, that was actually, actually one of the best like kill confirms that Ness has in a lot of these situations is just putting pressure on your shield with his up smash. It's, it's, it's something that most characters don't have an option out of because once it pokes you, you're just dead. Yeah, it's it's so similar. It's like you see a lot of people who will get caught uh, at least early in a match by like say uh, a charging F smash from Corrin. They'll look at it like, oh, I got a dip, and and they get hit by the multi hit, realizing, oh, I should have went a different direction, or I should have tried to dip faster. Uh, it, it, the multi hit just covers so much. Pretty much the only thing you could do in those situations is preempt. Like you have to try and buffer a roll away if you're assuming uh, the roll, like the throw is coming. But it was just a good call on Debo. It covers so many options in that situation. That or hold shield, uh, because it's not going to break shield at full. So. Uh, it, it's, it's a risky play, sure, but it's such a good coverage play. Speaking of Corrin, uh, for those who don't know, Webb doesn't really play Lucas anymore. He kind of said that his character sucks and I'm done with it. But the Corrin, however, is something we've seen a whole lot more of lately. Yeah, no, I saw I saw he did like a solo Corrin run. I forgot what tournament. It might have been like Xanadu or something a couple of weeks ago. And he did so well i remember he made top eight with solo corn and i've seen this corn beat hbox too it was uh not not all that pretty for the puff main look uh, web's corn is definitely a force to be reckoned with somebody's got a sword attached to him then puff's gonna cry that's pretty much like unless your name's base mage that's so uh, he's like the only person i've seen who just deals with disjoints that well puff hbox is getting there but like the one thing that people seem to forget about corn even though the instant win button in insta pin side b isn't as good as it used to be even though it's good at the ledge, uh, they still can frame trap you to hell with the short hop forward airs, the nares, the falling up airs. It's a really easy way to just harass characters like Ness who struggle against this joint. And that's an air dodge read. He's trying to go off stage low, maybe cover him at the ledge. I thought he was going to charge a forward smash, but he decided to back off. Uh, I, I, I'm really like this switch so far from my He's, like you said, he's been absolutely dominant so far in this match. He's just been 37% oh yeah, on him only and, and after a minute in. That's, you're doing something right if you're a WebJP here. He gets that up air. He's so close to taking that stock. The back air comes so close and he's going to be looking for this. F smash with the chainsaw. He forces the air dodge off stage and I don't know if Ness can make this back. Web wants the ledge trump but he doesn't find it. Instead, he's just got to roll to get back up. Oh, and I like the idea behind that right there. there. After yeah. like after canceling that out, a lot of times people will assume that they, you know, you're gonna try and do something again, or they try to run in and cover it. At, at least Debo showed right off the bat when he was getting caught by that forward match at the ledge that if you're not in the correct position, you just di out. I believe he gas di that as well, up and away to get out of that. That pin is finally gonna catch him on the landing though to get that first stock. We were we were talking about like how long Webb was actually managing to like go without like barely getting hit at all, and then Tebow just pulls this out. He brings it right back. We're even. Full reset. Two stocks apiece. Zero zero. Five minutes left on the clock. Oh oh oh! Okay. I like I actually like what Debo did there at the very beginning of the stock. It's like okay, let me try and get some data on you. I'm gonna walk up towards you. I wanna see how you behave in this situation. And it, it didn't work out in his favor, but I like the attempt there. He slowed down the game in a different way that he hasn't done to Web yet, especially because Web. Once he gets a hold of him, has significantly held advantage significantly better. I just said significantly too much, but that is a stock going to the uh, web. Uh, that was an interesting string there, and it definitely resulted in the stock. But I just want to know why. Like, why can Corrin do that? Sometimes? That was beautiful. There's like you, you, for, you force him into a weird recovery. He's gonna force him to another one again here. He almost caught him on the air dodge with that back air. That would've been screwed. Oh, he caught him with the instant pin. Uh, excuse me, he caught him with the sweet spot. That's his jump. He is done. What the hell was that? Hey, look. That's not fair. Sweet spot, sweet spot pin is still a really good move. <laughs> if you happen to catch him at the yeah, ledge, that move. Yeah, but he got hit, too. He traded. He traded with that PK Thunder. Do you remember how dumb fast that out. move is? Do you remember it's how dumb? You literally it's like frame, frame six or you something like that. You literally take your finger and you just slide it across uh, B to A. And it's just it insta snaps. That move used to be so good. 
And even though it's it's a lot more punishable in center stage, the startup of it, especially at the ledge, is still stupid strong. That is a trade you'll take all day. Yeah, and like you said, it's it's a trade you take all day long because he, he, he won the game off of it, you know? Yeah, facts. Freaking, uh, like in that situation, Debo threw a pillow while Webb threw a whole frying pan at his face. Like, it was, it just, it's, literally it's literally nothing you can do there. Because PK Thunder is one thing, but insta like that insta pan, especially at the angle it sends at, at that low, uh, at that, like, where he was. Yeah, you're not making that bag. Uh, looks like a wrong stage. Wrong stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, they accidentally got Battlefield. Uh, that is bad. I, I didn't even notice that that was Battlefield PS2 until you pointed it out. Yeah, I was just looking at it. I was like, this looks, this stage looks smaller. What happened? Something's wrong. I can feel it. Something wrong. Stage pick something, something. Chat's awesome. I hope you're all still having a good time. We're going to get into this, back into this match in a second. All right, um, chat, I'm going to be real with you. I love every single one of you, but I need one of you to stop watching the stream right now. I need I need the viewer count to be at 666. I'm, man, what? The, Vance, can you get can you, can you, can you, add more followers? Get the number higher. What do you mean? Uh, I want to see six. <laughs> like, even it actually like, just dude, dropped. It actually just dropped on my ass. It just it dropped. It just dropped. Yeah, it just dropped to 666. I'm not kidding. You goon, we went down to 656 instead of 666. I said, I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at it right now. Oh my god. Also, chat. Someone added an extra one. Also, they chat in uh, YouTube later. I I know that y'all like to complain about Ness and all that stuff and everything, but and and I keep saying as as option cover stuff. But I'll continue to fight you on this. Like, it, it, sure, mashing is annoying, and there are some times where care, like people are straight up mashing. Like people are straight up mashing. But if you really break down, if you look at where people are putting the aerials in position, and if you can't punish it, guess what? They have covered you in a way where you can't be hate. You can't react and you can't do what you want to do. That is you losing. So you have to learn how to deal with that situation. Maybe react to the double jump afterwards. And we've already seen how Webb's been able to do that here in this next game post that. So I'm glad to see how he is doing. But still, it's and even though it is annoying to fight, it's still something that is a win condition that you have to learn how to deal with. Yeah, and right now Webb is just like like we said, he's abusing that win con. He gets the chainsaw on the shield there, forces Debo to drop and gets a footstool out of it, but nothing happens. I think that was an accidental but, uh, footstool. So he is going to like just reset back to neutral. Debo is Debo is dangerously close to losing this stock. Here. True enough. Also, I, I gotta I gotta put something some uh, somebody just funny. It's like true. There is mashing and then there's mashing. Like it, it, actually something I always bring up too. If you know, Larry Lur said it best. Top players are just mashers who get away with it. Like that, that's top, actually a ma majority players, of it. No, 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 it's it's mashing but with a purpose. Exactly. Bro. That that's the whole joke behind it. It it is it, it, it's understanding why you're putting the hitboxes out versus just swinging. And that is a that's kind of a just swinging moment right there. You're up close to the next uh, the nest and you put out the instant pin. It's a good way to cover and that up air short hop is very fast and keeps you safe. That was really solid. And Debo is actually struggling a little bit even though he's keeping it close. He's been consistently behind the percent because he's got to box his way past this sword, which is making a huge difference in this matchup. He's just having having so much trouble. And, and we've talked about it previously, you and me, that Ness always struggles with disjoints. It's the same thing as Puff, honestly. Like all of Ness's worst matchups, I, Corin, uh, Roy, and Crom, like all the all the big sorties, Lucina and Mark too. All the big disjointed sorties are the ones that Ness struggles most with because they've got hitboxes that they can throw out that are some of the fewest in the games that can beat Ness's districts. Yeah, just having that range to play with. And actually, Roy, I need to double check on the Roy one because uh, it, it, they both become more of a brawler archetype in that one. He was like, oh, good, there you go. He did it again. He did, the, the way he closed out that other game where he put out the up smash directly in front of Webb because the throw is very obvious there. So what do you do instead? You put the up smash out because you cover spot dodge, you cover jump, and you cover if they roll in. Yeah. Debo very, very quickly bringing this nearly back to even. That's one of the things that I, I have to commend him a whole lot on, is he doesn't really let a lead get to him. He just goes, okay, I'm Ness, I'm gonna play my game, I'm just vibing. He brings it right back, he just starts you know, throwing out those hitboxes, he mashes with a purpose, starts getting, racking up those hits, especially on a, a slightly heavier character like Corrin. She's got like rocks on, like rocks in her shoes or something, even though she's not wearing shoes. I'm glad you, I'm, I'm glad you said that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, my goal is to convert people 
to mash with a purpose is at the sentence. And uh, Debo, uh, look, you're, you're correct. Debo is still playing super confident. Even though he got caught on that jump, he's gets, he is jumping a bit too much from ledge, and Webb has caught on to that. Webb realizes when he is in a sticky situation, he wants to go airborne. He hasn't been able to get by that, and that is making it really bad, because that is a quick way to set up a stray hit aerial that is going to kill him. Good Ooh. dare there from Webb out of that disadvantage situation. Like, I was expecting the short hop up there, uh -oh. come out from Debo to punish him, but now it's Debo who's just stuck off stage. He comes back with that down air bear, though. Get himself up in a pretty great situation. Oh! Webb, okay. I can't believe okay. that missed. What is going is he on here, Webb? No, 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 that was good because Webb realized in that situation too, he's been caught multiple times by that up smash. So what do you do? He held shield, it doesn't break it. So all you gotta do is if you get pushed away, hopefully at the edge, you won't die. So that was much better by Webb in that situation too. Webb is adjusting and time is ticking for Debo to figure out this matchup before he just goes down three to one if he doesn't get any back into this one. Just throw right there though which is going to bring him right back on into this match but maybe not for much longer he needs to start building up he needs to start doing some nest things and that is the first time i've ever seen a corn go for up smash back air not quite going to close it out but it comes damn close the neutral b going to force him to play off stage for a little longer and there's the runoff counter that's what i've been waiting for all game it's same i was wondering when that was eventually going to come out because you, you don't want to challenge nest too close to the stage because if you happen to miss it, Ness is going to just either check the stage or just kind of slip by you. It's kind of a weird hitbox there. But when they're at that 45 degree angle from the corner, they have pretty much the only option of going straight at the ledge. That makes it much easier to get that counter. And Ness's biggest weaknesses. That's also why a lot of the sorties do pretty well against him. Mm -hmm. Is because, hey, PK Thunder 2, it's a strong move, dude. Yep. And you know what happens to strong moves when they get countered? They kill you. Yeah, true they enough. They murder I'm, I'm, you. <laughs> I'm actually glad to see... Well, I'm, I'm very glad that Web has brought out the corn because it's... Character representation doesn't necessarily mean that the character's bad. If you don't see a character a lot, that does not mean the character sucks. It's just that they don't succeed nearly as much as the top tiers, which is true in any fighting game. But Corrin is a pretty solid middle ground character. They have a lot going for them in terms of the flame traps, the dish joints. The only thing they struggle with, obviously, is killing by comparison to some of the other ones and the fact that they're a bit more punishable on center stage with how slow they are. So they're going to struggle against a lot of the higher tier matchups. But in matchups like this, they're actually pretty solid. And said there's a there's like a very select few matchup where corin really flourished this is one of them mm -hmm. and webb absolutely knows it like zss ness isn't like one of the hard wins for zss zss is a top tier character that can do a lot in a lot of situations but ness actually like has a pretty good shot at taking down a zss so having this corn in the pocket it's actually really impressive from webb to see him pull it out and use it like this true enough also cosmos isn't gone he's just a mithra main now uh, <laughs> he's also, off with his wife who's in space, bro. It seemed it, the exact same situation. Oh my god, wife who's in space. It, so, uh, oh my god. So, so I it was the same situation. Train of thought. That's literally that's all in my head now. <laughs> okay, so set up the same situation, force them to the 45 degree angle, which makes it easy to catch uh, that that counter on that recovery. Now, Debo. Debo really need to run them hands. He needs to run them fade. He needs to live up to the reputation of his name. He needs to swing and he needs to swing fast. He needs to take the he needs to take the stock, take his money, take his shoes. It don't matter. Take everything from from Web to make it so Web loses the confidence he has in his approach because Web is just running in safely and consistently holding shield without getting punished. And he tries to come back to stage there, maybe a little bit unsuccessfully. You know. Corrin doesn't have too many options to get past that down smash or that up smash yo-yo at ledge. So sometimes when Ness has enough time to set up at ledge, it's just a death sentence for certain characters. And Corrin is one of those characters where it is just a death sentence for you if you don't have like a double jump or your double jump won't reach you back to stage. But 82% built up or Web is only at six. He's in a great situation, Jax. Yeah, this is He's gonna get caught by that up air train, though. I actually would 100% expect the Debo to go for the attempted PK Thunder 2 gimmick there because he got the double up air. Webb has 
consistently got in the way from a lot of situations without having to use a jump. So maybe he could have caught him with the, the air dodge, but this is actually really good. He forced them just far enough away. I thought he was going to catch him with the down smash at the ledge after he caught him with the PK Thunder uh, tail. So that's pretty unfortunate for Debo. However, if he could catch him with a throw or the up smash at the ledge, he could get himself back into the game. Oh, and he is going to come back to stage. I thought I thought for a second, like I saw the future eventuality with the time stone that Debo was going to go for that jump bear and get caught by the up air from Webb, but it didn't quite happen. And now Debo making a case for himself to take this to game five. He's starting to figure out the corn matchup, which, you know, it's actually really impressive to see him doing it on the fly here. Because more often than not, how how much how much top level practice are you going to get against good corns, Ajax? Like none. They're, 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 they're <laughs> Very a dying minimal. breed. They're, That's a, they're a dying breed, man. So, like, seeing him figure out the matchup live and in person is honestly really impressive. That's what I was saying before, man. Like, character representation doesn't necessarily mean that the character's not good. And it's hard to get practice like this. That's what makes this a solid counterfeit character for Webb because nobody's prepared for it. However, the way Devo's playing, that, oh, I like that. He realized that he wasn't going to be able to get him. Uh, Webb is consistently be getting out of PK fire punishes, but he catches the falling up air. That up air might do it. No, it's not going to do it yet. But that air dodge is not punished. Debo needs to seal this out ASAP. Webb has done a great job of getting damage in quickly. Speaking of which, he caught the air dodge down. He's frame trapping him to hell. This is exactly what Corrin can do. He's brought him already to 68%. He's, oh, oh, he's so lucky he got by that. He didn't get punished. The shield's getting low. He's potentially gonna get shield broken soon, but luckily he got away, and this match has all of a sudden gotten way more stressful. Yeah. To get that up smash there to close it out and ajax we got our first game five of you and i's block here which i'm very very excited for that is going to be a scary match for debo but he is going to barely take it at the end like i said with that up smash now going into game five i wonder if now that it's webb's counter pick this is the first time we're we're going to see them get to counter pick with corin right um, I believe so. Look, yeah, you know, they lost game one with ZSS, so it's it's now their turn to actually counter pick here. I wonder what stage they're gonna take us to. Hey, I, I'm honestly, I think we might run it back. To, I think we're gonna run it right back to PS2. Um, because just like the way they've been playing, it, they, they both really like being able to reset the match when they don't feel comfortable when they're getting pressured. So they, they but I think both of them are really comfortable having a big room to work with. Uh, if we do happen to leave here, it's probably gonna be something like Kalos. But um, one of the things that, what's crazy about that last match actually, is that if Debo ran from the corner and got hit by that F-tilt, he was going to lose that match. The fact that he got down and held shield and didn't get too stressful when he was getting pressured to, like, to, like, to end, he was getting bodied. The fact that he stood in shield and he was confident that he wouldn't get grabbed is literally what got him out of that sticky situation and got him to win that game because Webb was, Webb was cooking. I'm wondering what we went to. I think it's still a wide stage. If it's a small stage, I'd be super surprised. Three, okay, yeah, two, it is guys. That was my that was my guess. So, uh, no platforms for Debo to now extend combos on outside of the far edges, and it's a lot harder for uh, Debo to land consistently against his aerials. I think that's a big thing that Webb recognized in the last match is that he got the, he was able to escape the center stage platforms a lot. Pushing on into, into the rest of this match, especially with these side platforms existing for Webb to extend combos off of, I'd be very scared if I was Debo. I, honestly, I'm not sure why he didn't ban this stage. It's going to be tough for him to get back to stage like that. He's just going to get countered off stage and die at 80. It's going to be tough you. for him to play neutral on stage without the platforms to help him. It's going to be, it's just tough all around. This is an awful stage for Ness. I'm telling you, man, people who haven't played Web before don't understand that they're setting themselves up to be counterpicked when they pick their stages because they look at the ZSS and they go, okay, I don't want platforms, so I'm going to leave the wide stages open. I'm going to leave the, the FD. I'm going to leave the Kalos. But Web loves it. Man. Web is so good on these wider stages that it actually plays into his advantage. So it, it's it's kind of like a, a little mini game counter pick, like, like a little mini game matchup that he's winning at the stage pick, and he's consistently pressuring Debo again. A big part of why? Where has Debo been able to escape to? He's got no center stage platforms, and these outer edge ones just puts him in a position to get pressure. I mean, he escapes to the blast zone, like right there with that back air. That's the only time he has respite from the pressure that Web is putting on him. Him. 
This is so scary, and he doesn't even die from that. He uses the wall pin. That's another That's another huge advantage of Kalos for WebJP here, is that he can use the wall pins to basically get back from what otherwise would be an unrecoverable situation. He just refuses to die. Exactly, and even for Debo, like, I was feeling good in that last game about his adjustments, but every time Debo is getting pushed in the corner, he's basically playing backwards, but that back throw, speaking of backwards, is going to get him a W on the board, at least, with the first stock he has to get he, he he's he just straight up needs a body web that's like the best way i could put it he ha he has to get a really dominant stock here speaking of which he's gonna look for the air dodge out no he he was out of position i think he was 100 hunting for the down air but look at it he's getting confident he's pushing in and he's trying really hard to snipe this stock because if he can take it around now he's still in this game Gonna put the roll in, but Webb is going to find that back air to at least finally get himself out of disadvantage. But it might actually just recontinue, and this is what Debo needs to do with this stage. He needs to put Webb, like, Webb's been doing a great job of putting him on the platform, putting him up on that pedestal, and then promptly knocking him down. Debo needs to do the same thing. He needs to abuse Ness's busted back air up on those top platforms, but he might not get the chance if Webb can get the stock here. Yep, that's going to be it. That's, that's Webb moving on to loser semis. That is textbook coverage and how you deal with that recovery in this matchup. He consistently called out the jump with that back air, which pushed him in a position where, once again, once